Tonight Show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Folks, you know my first guest tonight from movies, Broadway, and the Oscars back when they still had a host. <laughs> he just launched a comedy app called Roastum. Please welcome back to the Late Show, the great Billy Crystal. <laughs> I admire you giving the audience what they want in that moment. Well, they gave me a lot, too. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> nice to see you again. Oh, yeah, it was great. Great to be here. Ah. Uh, am I wrong, but is New York more crowded than it's ever been? I've been here two months. I'm about to start a movie in another month. Because you're, 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 you're a New York icon, but you live in Los Angeles now, and you're back, and you're re-experiencing I've never seen so many... Folks, if you don't have to be here... <laughs> Could you go to Wyoming or something? There's like, there's eight people in Wyoming. You'll have so much room. Walking up the streets has been impossible. You, you like Uber, right? Uh, chopper. I chopper. chopper. You chopper. Chopper. Coming up to, I'm, I'm telling you, that walk to here was the first time I haven't been bumped into in about two months. You try to, I, I'll do it here, I guess. I'm walking, this is a half a block. It's, th it's this. <laughs> then you get to the corner, and it's a bicycle! <laughs> is this Beijing? Is this Amsterdam? What has happened to New York? Uh, it's very disheartening, Steve. Yeah. I find it hard to believe that you can walk around New York at all. I walked, I walked to work. Really? Uh, you don't get yeah. mobbed? No, no. Wow. No. Are you insulted, or are you happy about that? <laughs> In the back of your mind, are like, someone could mob me a little. You know, mob me a little. Yeah, and also, you know, sometimes when you're walking on the street, um, uh, just if I feel insecure, I'll just cough a title of a movie. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll just well, I'll be standing at like maybe I'm trying to cross the street, and I'll go, Harry and Sally. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <laughs> What does that mean? Mm. Yeah. Also, these guys, mostly guys, have those white little cigarette things in their ears, <laughs> and they're talking to themselves, so I yeah. feel like they're, everyone's a schizophrenic on the streets. <laughs> and too much garbage. De Blasio, what are you doing in Iowa? You're going nowhere. Come back and clean up this city. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Otherwise, I'm happy to be here. But what, what, what brought you back? What are you doing in the city? I'm doing this a movie that I uh, co-wrote with uh, my great friend and great writer, Alan Swibel. Mm -hmm. It's called Here Today, and I'm starring in it. I'm directing it also. Wow. And my co-star is the one and only Tiffany Haddish. She's wonderful. <laughs> She's fantastic. We've, yeah. we've had her on here many times. Yeah. Does she ever talk about me? Because it's well known she has a little thing for me. I don't think so. No. <laughs> No, she said it in the press, and she said it sitting right there. It's, it's, uh, she ready. <laughs> no, she said so. She said it to me. Yeah, no, it's serious, Billy. Okay. Sorry. All right. You can, ha you, you, fine. Okay, good. Yeah. Good. What, what, is the, what is the movie? The movie is about, it's a May-September, uh, relationship. Are you in a relationship with Tiffany Haddish? Yes. Um, Sorry to steal your thunder because she's... I'm not sure if I'm me. May and she's September <laughs> or she's September and I'm May. I'm not sure yet. From the but, previous calendar yes, year. Yes, but it's not... It's not... <laughs> <laughs> rollover minutes. It's rollover minutes. It's actually a very, uh, very funny, heartwarming story about a senior writer on a show, not unlike The Daily Show, mm -hmm. um, who is in the beginnings of dementia, just... The, and he meets this street singer... Uh, who has a band that plays like in the subways and Penn Station and mm -hmm. uh, Gansworth Market, who Tiffany plays. Mm -hmm. And he saves her life in a, a very funny situation. She wants to repay him, and then she realizes that he's, something's not right with him, and she gives up her career 
to take care of him. Oh. So it's a very touching, very funny uh, movie, and we start October 3rd. So to get a chance to do a, a, um, a movie at any time, you know, but uh, about real people, mm -hmm. with the way the people go to movies to see, you know, this is not a superhero movie at all. That's, they're very popular, though. I mean, yes. I would love to see Billy Crystal in spandex well, someday. <laughs> We'll yeah, come to my dressing room after the okay, show. Good. Yeah, okay, good. No, there should be... It's a good idea. There should be uh, senior superheroes. <laughs> Super seniors? What do you think? Sure. They got a lot of experience? Yeah. They How know about, what's what? Like, um, spider veins, man. Maybe. <laughs> Iron deficiency anemia, man. Mm -hmm. And the only thing, like his kryptonite, you know, it would be having to work on a computer. That would be it. <laughs> I could be like me, named Ira. He's an, like a simple accountant. Yes. And he gets, he turns into this thing when they try to take away his social security. <laughs> what do you think? And like most of my senior relatives, he'd wear his underwear outside his pants. So, yeah. Like Superman does, you know. Don't retire me. You wouldn't like me when I'm retired. <laughs> well, you, you have a, a new app. You've launched a new app. Yeah, this uh, is a fun thing. It's called Roast Them. Yeah. But before we get to that, you, I just want to ask you about, you know roasts from when roasts were roasts. Right. Okay? You were part of some amazing roasts, roasted yourself by some of, some of the greats. Yes. Um, I, can you tell me anything about this is this is at a roast, I believe. This was I was being roasted in 1992. Um, that's Ali and I. Um, uh, I'm on the right. <laughs> Though you're doing amazing, you're doing uh, amazing. I was, amazing, Ali. I was being roasted Ali. by him, and he was on the dais, and he got up and said, "I like your jokes, I like your style, but you ain't paying me nothing, so I won't be back for a while." <laughs> no, it's when we grew Were you guys up. Friends? Yeah, oh yeah, he was one of my closest. That's friends. nice. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yes. Uh, when we grew up, maybe you'll remember this, because I grew up before you did. Mm. Um, <laughs> roasts weren't televised. They were closed-door things at the famous Friars Club, mm -hmm. where all the greats mm -hmm. closed the doors and banged away at each other. Uh -huh. And um, be because they said they love each other, mm -hmm. they could just humiliate them. Sure. And you wondered what went on. Then Dean Martin, uh, you know, did the roasts, and those were televised, and those sure. were those were kind of fun. Mm -hmm. I did a couple of those starting out, and now they're you know now they're big deals. So I, uh, I thought, um, you know, let's do this app uh, where people can actually roast somebody. But mm -hmm. let's go, 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 let's finish up the roast sure, thing. Sure, yeah, sure. We, then we'll get to it. This is yeah. So I was roasted in 19. Oh, this is Robin. Um, Robin was pretending to be my foreskin. <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. Was it, was, it, <laughs> yeah. was it coming back to you? Was it haunting you? Yeah, it was, it, it's, it's, uh, he called himself Rumpled Foreskin. <laughs> yeah, so that was that. Was, and, and, then, and then this. I'd love to hear about this because I, uh, you right. know, uh, the great Alan King. Alan right was there. one of the great comedians of all time, and he was the abbot of the Friars, which was the head, yeah. the head guy. And he's at the very end of the event. There were about 2,000 people there. And it gets rough, uh, you know, really rough. Yeah. So forgive me, but this is exactly what he said. You know, uh, Billy and I played uh, father and son. I was the father um, to his son. And to make it believable, uh, to play his father, the night before shooting started, I banged his mother. So I tugged his sport jacket, and I said, Alan, my mother's at table five. Mm -hmm. So he didn't miss a beat. Mm -hmm. He stood up and he said, oh, there you are, Mama Crystal. How was I? <laughs> so my amazing mother stood up and went, don't get me started. <laughs> <Too straight. clears throat> yeah. Yeah, she was awesome. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. I wouldn't know what it feels like to insult someone's mother and not know that they're here. 
I saw it. Yeah, great. So, so okay, now let's get to. All right, so, so I, I th took about two years to develop this technology. It just started today on the App Store. Uh -huh. It's called Roast Them. You can roast whoever you want. There it is. Your own personal roast. So I hired about five or six great joke writers. So you put the face of the person you want to roast in here? Is right, that what you it create is? two avatars, the roaster and the roastee. Okay. And then you can buy jokes for like 99 cents that our writers wrote for every occasion. Wow. Wedding Could I buy them? Because sometimes I need jokes yeah. here. Yeah, or... <laughs> Or you can just make up your own, and then you, once you fit your face in there and you make your mouth move like a jib-jab thing, you record the jokes, and then it's processed, and then suddenly the animation is great. You're on stage, I'm the host, whoever you're, you're roasting sits there, and you get, you know, you get laughs. There's a laugh track and a band. And you can send this to the person you've Yes, hosted. and as soon as it's all processed, you, you, you can email it, test, text it, whatever you want to do. And oh. it started today. I, uh, I love it, and it was so generous of you. There, I love this. It's really generous of you to put a picture of Kevin Pollock. On this. <laughs> it's animated. It's animated. Yes. It's, oh, nice. No, it's, it, it took oh, about nice. two years. Oh, we got to take a break, but we'll be right back okay. with more Billy Crystal. Stick around, everybody.